Hey what's up this is Gizmo and today we're going to be checking out the Boogie Board LCD writing tablet. Now what you see right here is a brand new one. I actually got it way earlier than I was supposed to. And uh, it's made by Improv Electronics. This is a 10 and a half inch LCD screen. It's 50% larger than the last one. And basically, basically what it is, it's a very low power uh, LCD tablet made for scribbling notes and you know thing, things like that. It's about one eighth of an inch thick. It's made out of durable plastic material, safe for school, you know, all around the house, stuff like that. And it's pressure sensitive LCD. So let's check it out. Basically, it comes packaged, battery charged, ready to go. I'm gonna pop it out of here. You get instructions on how to write, different things with lighting. The new one has, a lot of people complained in the last version that you would be able to lose the stylus. Now you could just pop it right in and you could take it wherever you wanna go. It is really, really thin really thin. So you can see here I have an iPhone 4 and I have the boogie board right underneath it. The thickest point is right here on the top which is kind of like the clipboard portion. Um, you can see it's not even, it's baby, it's just as thick as the iPhone right here but the majority of the tablet it's way thinner. You can see here my fingerprints are kind of picking up on the screen. So it's pres pressure sensitive, you can do finger art, you could do art with your fingernails, looks like I'm scratching it. Now this is not just like an Etch-a-Sketch, this is an actual LCD screen that is running right now. And there's one button on it, and that's the erase button. So it flashes and erases, and that's pretty much it. Um, the, it's a very simple, basic thing. My only concern is that you can't save, you know, files or upload them somewhere. There's no plugins or anything. So the closest thing to compare this to is like a chalkboard. Uh, you can't save stuff from a chalkboard unless you just leave it there. So if we want to write, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4, there you go, you have that. It's in a green type of lettering, you can read it in all types of bright lights. Uh, it just looks like you know, as if I just wrote a marker on a blackboard. So I want to erase that. So let's take a look at a couple things you could do. I mean, if you're an artist, it's great for like drawing sketches. If you're in a meeting or something, you just draw the person, you know. And it just feels like naturally you're writing or something on here. Erase that draw a dinosaur and yeah that's pretty much it uh, it just feels like you're drawing and uh, if you wrote an important like number here not that I wouldn't forget this number and you want to save it there's a switch right here, it's the lock switch. You can lock it and try erasing it, it won't erase. So you could throw it into your, your bag and you know, you'll have that number saved. Only thing is you'll still be able to write with the, the stylus or your fingers. You could do stuff like that, so be careful if it's in your bag where you have it put. But the number will still be there, you still can read it if it sat in your bag and scratched, something like that. So, it works just like a piece of paper or a chalkboard. So I'm going to unlock it and, yeah. So it's powered by two 4A batteries. And as you can see here on the back, there's just some little information. This is where the batteries go here. And you have your little clip area for your pen on top. That's pretty much it. You can have fun with it, you can get creative, press down with your pressure sensitive, almost look like finger painting. Get your fingernail in there and, you know, rub up. Make it look like some kind of magic.
So like I said, it's pressure sensitive, so depending on how much pressure you're putting down on the pen, it'll make it a certain thickness. Obviously more pressure right here. And back to the light. You could use the stylus, you could use your finger, you could use a toothbrush, you could use a comb, anything to give it a texture that you want. Uh, things you should not use, exacto knives, actual markers, pencils, and pens. Obviously you're going to start writing on the screen and ruin it. So you don't even need to connect it to the computer, there's no connection with it. Um, it's obviously not waterproof and don't keep it out in the sun too long because you end up ruining the LCD screen right here. Um, that's pretty much it. What they give you in the packaging is instructions. You get a cleaning cloth which is, comes with everything, pretty helpful. Because it does get a few finger marks but it's really not bad at all. The screen is pretty scratch resistant, like I said it's a 10.5 screen, weighs 8.1 ounces, it's really really light, and uh, that's pretty much it, you get it for $60, they also have a smaller one, it's a little less featured, and uh, you can get it for I believe $40 on the website, you can go to improvelectronics.com and check it out. It only comes in this color right now, but the previous version had about 10 colors you could all pick from. It's on BTV. And there you go. This has been a boogie board. First review, first look at the new 10.5 inch tablet. And check you later.